the Sam Giancana's house. This is from where he ruled the nation's underworld, everything west of uh, Cleveland. This is... He had this house built and he lorded over everything. He was a family man. He protected his entire family. He raised his daughters here. This is the house where his, his wife passed away and he had kept a lot of fine things in here, a lot of uh, collectibles. And this is also the house where he was murdered. There's a lot of speculation on who it was. Uh, there are some who say Butch Blasey. There's a few who say Accardo himself. We know that Tony Spilatro's home is very close, and there's a chance he was in from Las Vegas at this time. It's, it's one of those things that everybody's got their own opinions, and it's something that they'll be fighting about on the message boards forever. But this is Sam Giancana's uh, palatial but somewhat conservative home in, uh, in Chicago. So describe the, uh, like, the, the, where he was killed. I think that side so, entrance there. Tell him about that night. You can see as you go around the side entrance by the driveway, Sam Giancana was in a basement kitchen. He was cooking up some sausage and peppers. It was a pretty traditional Italian meal. He was in the basement, clearly somebody, he trusted someone, and he received, it was five shots in the head and uh, one, from, one from behind. So whoever came in to shoot him, was clearly someone he knew, someone he trusted, if he turned around and, and put his back to them. Sam Giancana was already in Dutch with the outfit at this time, so there would be very few people that he trusted, and really wouldn't have turned his back to very many people. Uh, the five shots to his head was, was clearly a message from somebody. They were really trying to, set, to, to, to tell everybody that Giancana was not wanted. He was not a presence anybody wanted. This was the night before, or shortly before the, the church committee hearings, where Giancana was expected to testify on the, his role, or the potential role, in a lot of the affairs in Cuba and gun smuggling and uh, different aspects of, of what had gone on with, uh, with the Kennedys. So. It was a really controversial time. Johnny Roselli had just been murdered, his legs sawn off, and he was thrown in the bay down in Florida. So it really, it's hard to say why Giancana was murdered exactly. He was just back from Mexico. He was just back home from a, an operation in Texas. And it's one of those mob mysteries that uh, will keep us, keep us searching. What about the story that surveillance was called off? So it would have been somewhere around here. Correct. He had 24-hour surveillance by... Uh, Local police, FBI was always on him. It had to be but, sitting up the street here, though. Right, somewhere in this neighborhood, and they would have been seen by the neighbors. They probably would have been annoyed, but nobody's going to say anything to Giancana. And there was a window when they were called off, shift change or, or whatever they want to call it, that was, that was uh, their excuse. But it was during that window when they were gone that somebody snuck in and, and, and killed them. So somebody had insight into police affairs. They knew when to come or they had the power to have the police moved. Uh, or they had the money to have the police moved. Okay, I'm here in the alley behind Mad Sam DeStefano's home, 1656 North Sayre. Uh, we'll get some footage of the house in a little bit. But uh, first of all, this is the alley where uh, Tony Splatro and, and I believe his brother came up, uh, Mad Sam's brother, and they just needed to get rid of Mad Sam. They came up this alley and ambushed him, I would assume, in that garage that's, that's back over my shoulder, although there's another garage up there on the house, but, but that detached garage back over my shoulder is part of the thing. Now, this is one of these neighborhoods where you've got alleys and the trash cans all up and down the alley, as you can see. Old school, this is a cool, nice old neighborhood right off of North Avenue. Uh, Mad Sam, as you all know, was a crazy loan shark. Uh, murdered and tortured Leo Foreman. He just delighted in, in torturing people. So uh, whatever happened in that basement, we don't know. We don't want to know. All right, Kate, this is going to be our last stop. In adventures and in adventures. Gary Jenkins <laughs> and the mob. And the mob. Across the United States. <laughs> well, at least to Chicago. I'm gonna tell you something, you guys. This is a hard track. Riding a motorcycle in Chicago is not fun. It, a guy needs to take uh, uh, public transportation to go around Chicago, but. Something, and this, we did this it. This little seat, if you can pan in on that. Yeah. It's not comfortable. <laughs> Especially after about 400 miles. <laughs> Neither is mine. And now about a mile, a couple blocks. <laughs> Even a mile. <laughs> I have seat envy. Seat envy. to a side. I'm just...
That's a, oh yeah, I see. Oh, yeah. I see. Oh well. Yeah. The things you become envious <laughs> when your ass hurts. <laughs> it's true. That's true. That's not penis envy, is it? <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> I had to throw it a little risque. I don't, I don't know anything about that. You don't know anything that. about that. <laughs> There's some other envies I could come up with, but that's not one. I had to throw a little something risque in there, guys. All right, we're going to run over and take a look at Lake Michigan. We're going to watch the Chiefs game later on this afternoon, and then we're going to start heading back. And I might back. swim in Lake Michigan. Yeah, well, if she starts swimming in Lake Michigan, why, we'll get you some shots of that for sure. I know you're looking forward to that. <laughs> All right, Kate, any, yes. any parting words of wisdom for Chicago? <laughs> um, great, thank you, glad it's over, teleport me home, and I hope it doesn't rain. You aren't looking for that eight or nine hour ride? No. Back down the interstates and the highways, here's our neighborhood, it's really kind of cool. This is like old school Chicago, man. Nice, neat little houses, brick. Little postage stamp yards. Anyhow, all right, goodbye, Chicago.